Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Open Green Energy. In this video, I will show you how I have made version 2.0 solar PV monitoring system. The new version uses a Seed Studio Xiao ESP32 board to minimize the overall board size. It also uses an external ADC module to get precise measurement. The new current sensor can measure up to 50 ampere. So guys, without any further delay, let's move to make the project. For making this project, you will need a version 2.0 PCB, current sensor ACS758, CIO ESP32, bug converter XL7015, ADS1115 module, male female header pins, etc. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can order high quality PCB prototype for your projects from PCBWay. You can order 10 PCB at only $5. Solder all the components onto the PCB by following the schematic diagram. You can download the schematic diagram from my blog post. The link is given in the video description. I have soldered the component according to their heights. So first I have soldered the 5 resistance. The resistance values are given in the schematic diagram. Next, solder the 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor. Then solder the JST connector for battery connection. The next step is to solder the current sensor onto the PCB. To make the main current path, you need a thicker wire. You have to choose the wire size as per the current rating. First, you have to strip out the insulation. Then insert it into the hole, then solder it. Then you have to solder the buck converter module XL7015. Here I have used 4 male header pin to install it into the PCB board. Then prepare the female header spin for ESP32 and ADS1115 models. Insert the module into the female headers and strip out the desired length by using a nipper. Solder a 4 pin male headers for connecting the OLED display. The last step is to connect the 3 screw terminals. The smaller 3 pin screw terminal is used to connect the temperature sensor, whereas the 2 bigger one is used for the power line connection. Now we have to set up the Blink IoT. Search Blink IoT on Google, then create a new account. Login into your account by using the email ID and password. The first step is to create a new template. Click on new template, then fill up all the parameters like name of your project, name of the hardware, connection type, etc. Now the template is ready, we have to add new data streams. For this project I have used 6 data streams for voltage, current, power, energy, temperature and savings. All the data streams are assigned to different virtual pins from V0 to V5. Here you can select the data type, unit of measurement, minimum and maximum value, 
decimal points and default value. You can also select the different color for different data streams. Follow the same procedure to add all the data streams. Now all the data streams are added. The next step is to add a new device. Click on new device. A small window will pop up. Here you have to fill up the template name and device name. After creating the device, the authentication token will be generated. Now we have to prepare the web dashboard. Click on web dashboard, then drag and drop the widgets. In this project, I have used four gauges, one chart and two labels. Then click on the gear icon to set the parameters. After setting up all the parameters, click on save. Now the web dashboard is ready. Now go to device information and copy the authentication code. It will be required in our Arduino code. Open the Arduino code, then paste the three line of authentication code on the top of it. Then you have to set the Wi-Fi credential like SSID and password. The last step is to set the COM port, then hit the upload button to upload the program into the ESP32 board. The next step is to prepare the mobile dashboard. First you have to download the Blink IoT app from Play Store, then install it, then sign in by using the same email ID and password. Next you have to drag and drop the widgets. The procedure is very similar to the web dashboard. Finally connect the solar monitoring PCB into your solar system. Connect the solar panel wire into the input terminal. Similarly connect the output terminal wires to the input of the solar charge controller or a solar inverter. You can see the connection diagram. To test the PCB, I have connected a 200 watt solar panel into the input terminal and the output is connected to a solar inverter. You can see the test result. The current reading measured by the PCB is very close to the clock meter reading. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. Have a nice day.